Investigación. Vale, primero es la investigación. Luego el testimonio. That's not true. You, Gerda, told me that Hell's door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she never dares to speak again. Okay. Gerda es la segunda. Va a salir mal, ¿verdad? Sí. Investigación. Gerda. Fotografía antigua. Ahí. Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop it. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The professor. She has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when you people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax. Of course. Thank you, Gerda. Heidi. I must leave. Leave? <laughs> You joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever. Okay. The chill. The tranquil oil. Watson podría encontrarla. Eh, estar en la sala de investigadores de pecho. Quizá pueda hacerse con la llave y usar el montaplatos de la cocina para enviarla al almacén de abajo. ¿Cómo llegar hasta Watson para obtener ayuda? Dos observaciones. Montaplatos. ¿Y el paciente? Vale, el paciente es parte. Usa a un paciente que crea una distracción. El paciente que afirma ser Napoleón Bonaparte podría servir. Si se libera, podría crear una distracción que me permite encontrar y contactar con Watson en la planta baja. Napoleón, te toca. Calienta que sales. Napoleón.
4, 2 3, 1, 4 He pasado en este y es 2 La prueba en este momento, que está escrito ya, vieron el futuro, está escrito en todos los libros de historia. Tírale, Napoleón. At last, you came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spam your groveling, Englishman. Of course, you are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Mon amour. But the guards upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. I am coming, Josephine. Captain! <laughs> Over here. Holmes, what are you doing here? And where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. What is happening, Holmes? I need an explanation. It's quite simple. I created a distraction so that I could tell you something important, and in turn, I need you to acquire something important for me. How can you call any of this charade simple? Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? You really found all this on your own? Focus, Watson. I need you to find a key. It will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I... I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. Dr. Watson, visitors are not permitted back here. I am terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. After the war, my nerves, I, uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. Vale. Blood in the water. Someone must have washed their hands here recently. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? Mejor no lo sepas. Did a child make these? Eh, no. Ay, Dios. Hola. A poder ser no, no lo hagas así en plan uh, uh. Como se te dispare tenemos aquí un problema Literalmente viendo la bala Sí, 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 en plan Que podría salir mal To see. Professor, I'm surprised you're not trying to catch that SKP. Please, my time is far too valuable. I hope Nurse Kuntz has been taking good care of you. He has certainly kept me out of trouble. Professor, it is time for your appointment with your next patient, Mr. Wolf. Herr Wolf can wait until tomorrow. I wish to speak with Dr. Watson. Uh, as you wish. You still see patients yourself, even as the director of this entire facility? Only the important ones. And yet I rarely get to pick the brain of a man like yourself. I think it is time we got to know each other, no? I'm afraid there's not much to know. I'm just an average chap living a rather prosaic life these days. Dr. Watson, those of us who pursue knowledge are anything but average. Now, who are you? I'm a physician in search of a stimulating career. I have 
patients, yes, but admittedly, I'm more interested in the cutting edge of medical research. So when I read about the Black Abel Vice and your work on the healing of minds, I simply had to learn more. I suppose my Abel Vice was always destined to attract other curious minds. But before we continue, I want you to understand one thing. A broken mind can never be truly healed. Ah, I see. So, what exactly do you do here? It is simple. If you cannot fix a person's nature, you must force them to forget it. Surely there are other methods of treatment. How naive. You remind me of a man I once knew, Professor Becker. But we do not speak of him anymore. A colleague? The former director here. One day he realized that Edelweiss had outgrown him and had Doctor? I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased you appreciate its practicality and appearance, we were discussing bigger things. Was my conversation boring you? No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand full well. You're not seeking conversation. What do you mean? It is obvious. Your mind craves truth, but not in this form. You must witness a practical demonstration if you are to learn. I'm certainly intrigued. Would that be possible? Of course. I propose a journey between the jury of the human brain. You will not leave without being truly enlightened. Kunz, take Dr. Watson back to the courtyard. Then tell the nurses to prepare the operation room. Cada vez siento más que son putos nazis. Our preparations will take a little time. I will come for you soon. Llegarán algo. Hostia. I hope everything is to your liking, Doctor Watson. Supongo. Vale. A quitarme medio con mierda. El paciente es muy importante. Esta no la puedo completar. No. Esto no tiene sentido. Looks dusty but functional. Oh, we never use that. I think it connects somewhere downstairs. Sí, 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 sé dónde. El juego es más. A ver. Yo ya dije que íbamos a jugar algo que nos iba a costar un tiempo. Coño. Hola. Struggling to remember something. Eh, oye, tú no eres un...
Poesía de un paciente. Oh, bella flor alpina. Qué corazón, qué corazón añoro así sin poder ver. Me llamas a mí como pude dejarte ir. Ok. ¿Cómo pude dejarte ir? La tormenta me nubla los sentidos. Ciega todos mis pensamientos. Sin capitán pierdo la cordura. ¿Cuáles serán sus descubrimientos? Frío y oscuro. De muros mugrientos. Apresionados como animales violentos. Atrapado, aún libre. ¿Por qué me precipito? En la punta de la lengua, algo retorcido. ¿Pero qué puede ser? ¿Qué he olvidado? Vale. This area is off limits. A patient has escaped. Compre I comprend you. Ciao. I want them to fly. I don't want a guard block me tonight. Miss? Too bad my parents had to leave so soon. I haven't seen them for months. No, no, you shouldn't have come here. Give it to me. No, I don't want to. Why not? Did you see my son? He's such a sweet boy. Okay. Tengo una pistola y sé cómo usarla, hijo de puta. Pero cómo podemos sacar a la tipa esta? Pero lo que no entiendo este que hacen Ah, habitación de paciente. No one is allowed in or out. Professor Gygax's orders. Minor birds, if I'm not mistaken, beautiful creatures. I'm sad that they're caged here. No todos están enjaulados. Vale, administración. Good Lord, that's a lot of records. Informes de, de los pacientes de Gigax, octubre del, del 79. Ya que se requiere un tratamiento más serio, mi paciente especial, Wolf, eh, será transferido al pabellón número 2. Se debe quitar el resto de mis pacientes de mi programa y reasignarles a otros especialistas en la institución. El estado mental de este paciente requiere supervisión constante e intervención inmediata para evitar consecuencias no deseadas. Diciembre del 79. Se han llevado a cabo con éxito los procedimientos quirúrgicos requeridos. Eh, la recuperación física está aún en curso. La pérdida de memoria sigue aumentando, pero no es completa. Se ha desarrollado una nueva obsesión con la escritura. Probablemente un efecto secundario. Enero del 80. Los escritos del paciente mencionan... Ahora nombres antiguos, una clara señal de recuperación parcial de la memoria, resultado inaceptable. Se requiere una segunda cirugía que se focalice en los lóbulos frontal y temporal. Febrero del 80. La cirugía ha salido bien, la memoria del paciente no dura más de dos minutos, aunque perdura la obsesión por la escritura, peligro eliminado. Supervisión diaria prescrita. Vale, pues el paciente que hemos visto ahí básicamente es Wolf. 
photograph seems recent. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. Good lord, that's a lot of records. You're finding your room comfortable, Doctor Watson. Y te vas y que le follen al otro. Puedo hacerlo. Ah, vale. Digo, y se termina el juego, ¿te imaginas? Привет. Как ты, Алкумаш? Ты мистер Вольф, я правильно? О, hello. Кто ты можешь быть? Мой имя это доктор Джон Уотсон. Я хотел поговорить с тобой, если ты не хочешь. Ах, доктор. Я не думаю, что ты можешь помочь. Я просто забыл, где я. Мы в Белой Эдельвайсе, мистер Вольф. Это сайт в Свитсерленде. И ты один из его самых важных пациентов. Почему я здесь? Это то, что я хотел спросить тебя. Я не могу помнить. Извини, я не могу помнить. Sorry, I, I can't remember anything. It's all right. You don't need to push. Try to relax. Let the thoughts come and go. Now, what comes to mind? Mr. Wolf? Oh, hello. Who might you be? We... We just went over this. I'm sorry, but I don't think we've met. We were just discussing this facility, the Black Edelweiss Asylum, and why you are here. That name does sound familiar. Holmes, the things I do for you. Excuse me, who are you? And who's this Holmes fellow? I am Dr. Watson, and Holmes is... Well, you could call him my imaginary friend. That's just a bit of a joke, don't mind me. But why am I here, Doctor? Am I sick? I'm sure I can take a look. Pues yo, jugándome un juego de... De Sherlock... Así que, feliz. Incisiones quirúrgicas. Quemaduras químicas. Moratones. Pigmentación de la piel. Posible abuso de medicamentos. También. Parálisis facial. Enfermo debido al tratamiento, sí. Un hombre adulto con dos cicatrices quirúrgicas profund profundas en el lateral de la cabeza y una quemadura qui eh, química antigua en, en una de las manos. El señor Wolf tiene un tipo de parálisis de los músculos faciales, pro probablemente resultado de la cirugía cerebral. Manchas de pigmentación azul grisáceo en la piel debido probablemente al abuso de medicamentos que contengan nitrato de plata. Parece que su condición es resultado directo del tratamiento que ha recibido aquí en, en el sitio este. Por el tratamiento. Dear Lord, what did Guy Gax do to you? Excuse me, who are you? Oh. Never mind. Wolf es el... En realidad se trata del profesor Becker, anterior director de Black Edel. 
ahora sufre de problemas graves en la memoria, pero sigue reteniendo la capacidad de escribir. ¿Cómo sacar a, a tal del despacho? Pues el paz... Paciente muy importante. Che. O sea, Becker. Si Becker sigue pudiendo escribir, igual puede captar la atención de Jigger con una carta. Hello again. You won't remember me, but we've met before. I am Dr. John Watson. And you are Professor Becker. You were the previous director of this facility, the Black Eagle Vice. Professor, really? Actually, that name does sound familiar. Wait, wait. Let me write it down. I try to recall memories through writing, but they always feel just out of reach. As a matter of fact, I have more for you to jot down. Oh, yes. Yes, please, anything. Professor Gygax did this to you. She made you forget everything, even who you are. But we will play a trick on her. We will write a letter so that she learns her lesson. Put down what I dictate. Dear Professor Gygax, your vile work has ruined countless lives through needless suffering. Your methods serve nothing but to show your own sick emotional state. You will be brought to justice and the world will know your cruelty. And by the time you make it to my cell, the police will already know the truth of how you came to be director of this asylum. Signed, Professor Becker. There. It's done. Hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is John Watson. I'm a doctor from London, a veteran of Afghanistan, and I wish to be a writer, though deep down I fear I lack the talent. And presently I'm risking my life to help my brilliant detective flatmate in the pursuit of a cult of kidnappers, even as I fear it may destroy him. I'm tired and hungry, and I have not had a good bath in weeks, and yet despite it all, I... I feel alive. Any more questions? Good heavens, sir. You're as mad as they come. Excuse me, who are you? I don't know why I keep doing this, expecting something different. One of the patients asked me to deliver this note. It's for Professor Gygax. Thank you, Doctor. Leave it with me. With me. Eh, paliza te va a dar Wolf. special about this. Close, but I don't think this is the key. Mm -mm, this is too small to be what Holmes asked for. Carta del Banco de Nueva Orleans. Estimado profesor, hace poco nos hemos hecho con una colección de gemas poco comunes por parte de nuestro conocido común. Las gemas se han vendido ahora a joyeros de Luisiana, quienes nos hicieron varias ofertas que eh, superaban con creces nuestras expectativas. El precio final acordado por las 11 gemas fue de 12.550 francos suizos. Nuestro cliente eh, nos ha instruido que usted reciba dos tercios de esta suma, que se ha transferido a su representante como de costumbre. Como siempre, le aseguramos nuestra discreción y esperando poder seguir haciendo negocios.